Welcome back to another episode on David Owen Creates. Today, we are going to be tackling this bowl, doing a little DIY centerpiece, so stay tuned. This purple bowl belongs to my friend Edith, and she actually has owned this bowl for a very long time. It's very special to her, and she wanted to keep it. She just didn't like the color. So we went ahead and taped off the inside like this, and then we gave it a quick coat of this Lat Black Primer by Rust-Oleum. I just want to mention that spray painting is really easy. You just have to go really thin and go pretty quickly so that you don't have any drips. You might have to do a couple coats, but after that, your piece will look gorgeous. Oh my gosh. This is how I like to use my hands in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so we have some bowls here we're going to mix our paint in i have this matte white by apple barrel this was from walmart around five dollars we also have this pewter gray tone and then also this nutmeg brown i wanted to add in a little bit of warmth because the gray and the white is pretty cool some baking soda to mix in with our paint to add that texture that we are loving lately. And we are going to need an old makeup brush, one that is like this. This is what really adds that amazing texture that we love, or we've been loving lately anyway. So go ahead and put your paint in a dish, and then we'll add in some baking soda and just mix that together. So... You guys will see I add way too much baking soda, but that's totally fine. You can always squirt in a little bit more paint to get the perfect consistency. So we decided to go ahead and flip this over and start on the bottom and work our way to the rim and in the inside of the bowl. We just thought this would be a little bit easier to tackle this part first. So basically we just take that gray paint and we're just doing a dabbing motion all over very randomly. You do want to leave a little bit of the black popping through, but not much. So I actually went ahead and let Edie give this a try, and she said that it was actually really easy and very relaxing. You're just dabbing on the paint. So if Edie can do this, I know that you guys can do this. Edith actually invited me over to help her kind of transform this bowl. She's not you know, the artistic type of person. So she thought this was really fun. I think this is fun to make like a fake aged stone, you know, anything. Since that's what I've been like doing lately on my channel. <laughs> We're just doing that with everything. So this bowl, no exception. Look at this beautiful piece. What do you guys think we should do to this piece? It already has like a lot of nice texture, but we want to change up the color. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. <laughs> so now I'm going in with the nutmeg brown and I mix in just a little bit of baking soda, but not too much. This color is going straight over that kind of concrete pewter gray tone. And you can see I did leave a little bit of the black popping through in areas. That's going to add a lot of dimension. As we keep going with layers, it's going to add a lot of texture. So this color is the nutmeg brown mixed in with the pewter gray to get this color. We're also going to use pure nutmeg in some areas as well. So here is the pure nutmeg and it almost makes it look like there is like rust spots on this big bowl. So again, we did not fully coat it with this uh nutmeg brown color we just did very few areas then we went over the whole thing with the matte white adding in lots of baking soda again we want lots of layers of texture i can't see what i'm doing that's crazy i can reach over that i would be, i wouldn't be able to that's the fun part like even if you can't see what you're doing there's no like right or wrong with this project So as we started going in with the white, this is what Edie said. You like it? I love it. So knowing that we were going in the right direction was a positive, affirmative, very good comment. <laughs> so we went pretty heavy handed with the white just because we wanted the bowl to mainly look like it was white, if that makes sense. So we just kind of went in 
really heavy handed to cover up most of the gray and the brown. David, that looks fabulous, yeah. It looks absolutely beautiful. Now we're ready to go ahead and put our sheet moss and little books and candles and whatnot in there. I'm trying to get some books that are about the same width. Those look pretty close. Pop these down at the bottom. This is all gonna be hidden away. Romance novel. I turn it this way. I joined a book club at one point, and next thing you know, damn, <laughs> you got all these books coming. I don't think I read most of them. I think that's probably good. Like, you know, okay, I think that looks good. Sheet moss. And we just basically want to cut this out. Once I cut out the shape I wanted, I then turned it over and I peeled off this backing. Then it became a giant sticker. And let me tell you, this sheet moss was very, very sticky. Now when I get my candles, I just set them on there? Yeah, you have all this flat surface to work with. So I just went around the edges and I made sure that the, everything looked really good and seamless. Then we set down three candles she had just to kind of test it out. She is going to be getting some new candles, some fresh ones that will be in replace of the ones here. So I just wanted to mention Edie's going to go ahead and get some new candles. These were just some old ones to give you an idea. She's going to get a new set and you have plenty of flat working space where you could probably add probably nine candles if you wanted to. I mean, whatever you want to do with this, but I think it looks good with the three. We're trying a big, large lantern candle just to show you that you can do several different things with this piece. <laughs> this one's a bit, it's a little bit too big. Too big but... I wanted to give a special thank you to Edith for letting me come over and use my artistic ability to do something fun together. And now you have a beautiful centerpiece for your table. I hope you love it for years to come. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.